Today we are checking in. We're talking all things weight loss. I am going to give you a scale update and how I have been doing while on this 12 week mini cut, how my progress has been and how my body is changing. So if you guys are interested in how my weight loss journey is going, let's jump into this because we're going to talk about it. Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, first off, sorry for the like a uh, the bunch of reels I've been posting or shorts. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I got sick again. I will say this while on this cut, I have gotten sick twice now. And I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of it's my fault because I haven't been that great. on remembering to take my vitamins, um, especially my vitamin D and like my multivitamin and like my, all my vitamins. I've been, I've been forgetting them. And I got it. I got, I got an upper respiratory infection. So like two weeks ago, I ended up with like that GI thing that was going around, like my whole house had it. And then Rhea ended up with like an upper respiratory and I got it. So no matter how old your kids are, they're still going to be bringing home stuff from school. Rhea's 18 and she's still bringing home the germs. So it is what it is. Here I am. We are on day two of antibiotics. I mean, it's getting better. Like I don't my chest doesn't hurt as much, but it's still rough. So um, definitely feeling feeling it. But I wanted to kind of come on and talk about this 12 week cut that I've been on and give you guys an update. So let's see my last weigh in today. I'm recording this is Tuesday and my last weigh in was on Friday and my Friday weigh in. I was 175 point eight or nine I think I'm gonna be honest with you I haven't seen 175 pounds it wasn't in my 30s I gotta I gotta rehydrate it was some probably sometime in my early 20s it's been a minute um I am five foot seven so a lot of you guys are wondering how tall I am I get that a lot five foot seven but um, I think when people say like five, seven, they assume that everybody's just like this long person. I have very short legs, but I have a very long torso. So my height comes in my midsection, hence why my waist looks so small, but why my legs are so short and stumpy. So, so, um, 12 week cut and let's get into it. So this cut started in January and it'll end April 1st. Why am I doing a mini cut? Well, basically it was to kind of lean down, kind of see where I'm at, see what I would look like. Not so much on a weight loss, but with a fat loss to see how, you know, um, shredded I can kind of get. Um, kind of see where the weight is hiding and going from there. But also I wanted to try it because I had always thought that I wanted to compete when I got, when I turned 40. So um, I thought, hey, like I was talking to my coach and she's like, well, let's try it. Let's do it. And I was like, cool. And when we said 12 weeks, I was like, 12 weeks isn't saying like that long. That's what my famous last word. 12 weeks is a very long time. This cut, I've said it before. It is, it's very, very hard. Um, now that we're in the tail end of it, it's gotten really, really hard. Um, I think that's another reason why I'm sick is because, you know, I'm in, I'm in a deficit and I'm working out so hard and I'm not taking proper care of my immunity and um it's it caught up to me so it's been trying it's been trying am i gonna am i still planning on joining and like trying to compete absolutely not i would i mean i'll do another cut but i wouldn't do it for 12 weeks i would probably only do it for six um at most eight but i wouldn't do it for 12 and i definitely do not see myself competing um, I very much like the lifestyle approach. I appreciate like those little treat meals at the end of the week. It just kind of gives me a balance. You know what I mean? I love working out. I love the simplicity of watching my meals, keeping everything really basic, having my steady meals every day. But I enjoy saying, okay, on like Friday or Saturday, let's go out and celebrate, especially now that the weather's getting nice. You know, we can go out and, you know, uh, I can be a little bit more loose on what I'm eating. So um, I definitely miss those. And, and it's just been a little difficult. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little hungry. And I'm a little tired. I'm also doing a lot of cardio right now. Um, I don't really share how much cardio because I'm going to be honest with you. The average person doesn't need to do as much cardio as I'm doing. But it's just for the sake of this cut. Okay. It's if I, I said I wanted to do it. So let's do it. And I'm doing it. And it's it's difficult. Um, I'm like sweating right now. I wonder if I have a fever. <laughs> Let me go take my temperature off right back. All right, just took my temperature, no fever, 98.4. I'm just, I think I'm just kind of sweaty. But 
I wanted to try this cut because I wanted to see if I can do it. And now I know I can't. So it is what it is. But going through how have I been doing as far as weight loss? Like I said, I'm 175 pounds. So um, I've lost, I think, while on this cut, about seven pounds, which is, I mean, I guess for a lot of people, seven pounds would not be a lot for them. But you also have to remember that I am weight training five days a week, heavy, heavy weight training. Also, I am not trying to be skinny. Like, I don't want to be skinny. If I wanted to be skinny, I would just eat like 1,200 calories, do an hour, hour and a half of cardio every day, seven days a week, and then just be skinny. I wanted to lose fat but gain muscle at the same time. And that's the goal, right? So um, I can notice, like I want to show you guys today uh, some pictures that we took just for you guys to see. And then, because I ended up doing a refeed yesterday. So a refeed was, so right now I'm practicing low carbs. Monday through Friday, and then I have higher carbs on Saturday and Sunday. Um, I had talked to my coach, and I said, you know, I'm not feeling good. Um, I'm hungry. I'm a little irritable. I'm tired. And she's like, all right, cool. Let's do a refeed day and send me um, a picture of yourself in the morning and uh, weigh yourself and see what it is. So on Friday last week, I was 175.8 or 9 this morning after. So I had high carbs Saturday, Sunday, and I had a refeed on Monday. And refeed was basically just another high carb day. And I was 176.4. I do want to say that I was 176.4. And I also started my period on Monday. So aside from having this upper respiratory infection, my period came at the same time. My body's like, girl, look, we're going to put you through it. So this was this morning. I hope you guys can see. Like, look at that. Like, look at, I am super impressed with like my legs. Like muscle quads like they are looking super sick right here is just loose skin but i'm like dang i'm feeling really really good stomach you guys can see you can see like the definition let me pull you out my shoulders are nice starting to see caps you can start seeing the muscle my chest is looking good i don't even work my chest that much and you can start seeing definition in there as well, right? So the overall picture. So let me show you what I feel like you guys can't see, but there definitely is like a little four pack forming right there, which is really good, especially because I hold so much weight in my belly and I can't suck in my stomach. So this is, I also have shorts on and sweatpants because I go in between of being cold and hot. So pull up my underwear here, but this is what my stomach looks like right like this is the top part you know that's the abs you guys will see because up here my waist is really small but this right here is the skin flap this is all so when I bend down like it just hangs like if I suck it in you could see it's all this right here so I have a fourth degree separation down here and it goes up to a second degree right here. But I carried my baby so low and they were especially, if you can look on this side, is bigger than this side. They all kind of sat right here for whatever reason. So this side is a little bit bigger. And I have to get it repaired one day, but that's it. So this right here is all, it is all skin, okay? But that's okay. This is real life. This is a real life body. This isn't, you know, I want you guys to know that if you guys have loose skin, if you guys have had, you know, you know, babies and stuff like this is normal too. like not everybody's walking around with a snatched small stomach and little bitty belly buttons. You know, we all have like the love handles that come along with it. Like I have a complete tire right here that can be lifted, but I'm still working and it doesn't take away from my success. This is still very much a real part of me but it's there and it's it's not going to go anywhere, but it's not going to discourage me from trying to be the best version of myself either. So, you know, the internet is very much full of illusion and they show you what they want to see. So you don't see this part, right? But if I were to pull up my shorts and just show you right here, you would think I was like hella snatched, flat stomach. You know, it's an illusion and don't ever let anybody tell you otherwise. So that lower part is not going to shrink I mean, it might just get softer and it might hang longer, but it'll never go anywhere else. And then I wanted to show you guys too. I also have to send pictures 
of the back of my legs and it's I never show you guys these pictures so I usually check it in my underwear but I'm wearing shorts today so I could show you but I wanted to show you how I'm working on so I, I literally have to bend over but you could see like the tie-ins my hamstrings my quads double headed on the calves like you could see all of that coming into play okay like look at that that's for me that's really impressive and because I do so much and then here is the back um, cellulite is reducing um, back is coming in shoulders are capping off but is lifted and looking a little bit more perky which all the things we want again I'm not trying to be like a size zero and then this is the side so you can see the stomachs concaved you can see the definition in the quads everything the whole picture is coming in so I feel like when people see a lot of things it's just you have to be realistic with your goals and you also have to be realistic with what you're willing to commit to you know if I and I needed this reality check I needed the reality check that I am not committed enough to be a competitor and that's okay but I am committed enough to be a muscle mama and to feel good in my skin and to actually enjoy this process and make it a lifestyle and I needed to learn that on my own so going forward we have the rest of the month with this cut and then we're off on April 1st which is great because that'll be good Friday right now like I said my like uh, treat meals are gone until April 1st which is perfect because that's good Friday and we have a celebration we do like the stations of the cross and then my mother-in-law makes like a lot of food and stuff so it's perfect it'll be a nice way to celebrate with the family um has it been hard no like on for example on Saturday I went to my brother-in-law's for his birthday and what I ended up doing was I hope this I have you guys on top of a Benadryl box um I ended up just bringing bringing my own meals and like people were like what are you eating and I was like I just brought my own food and they're like oh okay like no one thought twice of it you know I I didn't care you know it, it's it's like bringing you have kids and your kids are picky eaters you bring food for them you know so that's what I ended up doing and it was fine and I don't feel any kind of way about it um now is this something that I'm gonna do forever uh you know no but even in during the summer like I'll have my treat meals once a week but even like in the summer when I go to my mom's I bring my own food it's just it does it works for me so it doesn't bother me you know and also like you got to think of it too there's a lot of stuff that people just don't like to eat you know and like I, I'm not a big like burger on the grill kind of person so it doesn't bother me to bring like a meal that I know that um, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to eat, I'm going to hit all the food groups, and I'm going to feel like full and good about it. I mean, if you wanted to make an excuse for why you can't do it, there's always going to be an excuse to find. You're sleepy, you're tired, you don't have enough money, you don't have enough time, um, you just don't feel like it, or, you know, you, I don't have the proper Tupperware, or, you know, there's always going to be an excuse. Where there's a will, there's a way, and you figure it out. That's just kind of, it's just second nature to me at this point. And I feel really good eating the things that I enjoy. Um, I enjoy the food I make and I feel good eating them. You know, um, even when I have like my treat meals, I don't go overboard because I just don't feel good afterwards. And I just, I don't know, I just learned to have a lot better relationship with food and I stopped giving it morality, like where it's good or it's bad or it's gonna, you know what I mean? Like it just wasn't anything. It was, if you know oh on friday we're gonna go out okay i could have a cocktail if i wanted but do i want a cocktail because i'm gonna feel like crap for a few days like that's one of the main reasons why i don't drink is because i don't like to feel bad afterwards and the same thing goes with food like i don't want to have like a a like stomach ache from eating too much greasy stuff or anything like that as far as training training has been really really good i have been lifting really really heavy my form i've been really really focusing on form 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 and I was able to deadlift 220 pounds with perfect form, which was really good. Um, hip thrusting, I'm still working on it. I do everything free weights. I don't do anything with a Smith machine. So it's a little bit more trickier. And when you do things without a Smith machine, anybody can tell you if you do it with free weights, it's so much heavier because that Smith machine really does alleviate a little bit of the, the, 
I don't know the pressure or whatever it is the weight you know and it, it lessens the resistance so I'm able right now to uh, to hip thrust about sorry seizing I'm able to hip thrust right now uh, about two and a quarter and I'm able to do those for about 10 so four sets of 10 that's pretty pretty good for me I'm getting there I'm getting stronger making sure because I was initially doing heavier weight but I was feeling it a lot more in my back and I was like this does not make sense so I actually just pop my phone up and I just like put it there to record myself and I had noticed that my form was bad and I was gripping and I was ego lifting as they would say I was more concerned about throwing a bunch of weight on there and popping it up as opposed to lessening the weight and having nice form nice contraction um, making sure you know if you're doing weights and you're just <laughs> you're like 10 you're like sets of 10 and you're just pop, 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 pop. that's it's point it, you're you're not going to get the full benefit because you want the whole movement you want to feel the resistance nice and slow contract the muscles and you want it to you don't want the weight to be that heavy if you can fly through it, it is way too heavy you want the resistance you want to be slow and controlled and you want to fight the negative the negative right so that's what I've been really focusing on like muscle to mind movement now I do want to say this really quickly um, you have to focus on recovery and um, I've been sore so what have I been doing I've been trying to do an ice shower once a week for like two minutes it is the worst because I like a hot shower I'm doing Epsom salt baths I've been foam rolling but I've also been using this so Bob and Brad you guys know Bob and Brad they're here on YouTube they are awesome I actually have their um, their gun their sports gun and I actually keep that in my gym bag because especially on like leg days when I'm doing a lot of quad work I tend to get cramps in my legs and sometimes you would see people and they'll start pounding them out um, I actually noticed a guy in the gym and he brought his with and I would start like pound like I would start taking the, the gun to it to help loosen up the the knots or whatever so I can keep going forward love it it's such a great um, gun it's super light super compact and I throw it in my gym bag they're also on Amazon but then I also got this and this is like their back um, and shoulder massager but I use it for everything it's super light you could actually stick it on your chair so if you were like an office worker and you were having a lot of neck strain this would be great but um, you just turn it on this way on. hold it down and super light and it just needs in the right places look at that and oh you can do like upper shoulder like your shoulders right here and it feels so good yep and then I also take it to my lower back and I'll put it there and then I'll kind of follow it down and then also I, I want to show you guys let me bring you down because this thing is so good so what I also do is I will hold on or I'll put it on the bed and I have it massage out my legs and I just work it down my legs and it does such a nice job because it's like kneading and loosening up any of the knots and it's so good guys I highly recommend so if you want us to check out Bob and Brad's YouTube channel they're here on YouTube they're so good and um but this this was awesome I love this again super light and you could even flip it over and like use it as just like a headrest for the back you know if like you're sitting at your desk but you could even like I'm telling you this can go with you anywhere if you're in the car and you're taking road trips this is the perfect travel buddy but Again, you can use it for your shoulders, your back, and then I use it on my legs too. You want to make sure that you're working out any of those knots, loosening anything up, because basically you get a buildup of lactic acid, and those cause a lot of it. So you want to make sure that you're lo you're loosening up all of that, so you feel really good. Because if you're not making sure that you're loosening up all those all that buildup, your muscles aren't going to have room to grow and heal and respond so super important so I'll leave a link down below I believe I got a 5% off coupon too and they're on Amazon and it's awesome like this is like a family thing that we're all fighting over I like it too because it's light and it's not loud and it's not super heavy either like sometimes these you'll get them I bought one before from like Marshalls or something and it like bruised my back because the the like little balls in there were like too hard and it was too strong not even too strong it was like they were just too rough and this is just perfect the needling motion is perfect it gets all the spots awesome and if you you with thick like me and you can put your thighs on there too it feels good so make sure we are 
eating all of our meals, getting our proteins, getting our carbs, getting our fats, make sure we're getting our water, make sure you're doing your BCAAs, make sure you're taking um, foam rolling, you make sure you're stretching before and after the gym, make sure you're getting those Epsom salt baths, all the things. If you could do a deep tissue massage, that would be even like optimal, but I know some people don't, they could be expensive, but you could always do like this massager too, or the massage gun or both and it'll really help with muscle recovery. So I'll leave a link for all that stuff down below. So yeah, that's pretty much my update. I'm sorry that I haven't been um, active, you know, but I am gonna go to Costco tomorrow, so there's gonna be a Costco video, and I'm just trying to get back on the things here. This this little cold thing I got going on has really put me through the ringer, but I'm gonna, I'm so sorry about that, and you guys know I love consistency, and I love being on time, so um Hopefully you guys are doing well. Let me know how you guys are doing. All right, here we go. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Bye, friends.